do a little speculation. Is Harry Reid trying to uh, cause enough trouble here with me and with we the people to actually say this is a police state? You know, this, this is. It seems like that's what he's trying to work this all up to where the people would accept the fact that now the United States needs to be a police state. Yes, because you exactly. Know, I think, I, it seems like maybe Harry's trying to push that. In other words, another war. Is yes. that what Harry wants? Yes, because when they label you a domestic terrorist, we know what they do to terrorists. And they've already sure, put the NDA... We, yes, we, we, we also know uh, what some of the laws are. Since 9-11, you know, they've strengthened this to the point that it's just about anybody would qualify as a terrorist. And then they take, to, then they take unlimited power over it with a, a, a person or a group or whatever and leave, leave them no liberty and, uh, and basically have an unlimited... Uh, resources and unlimited power to, you know, to do whatever. And, to, you know, and if he's a terrorist, let's take him out. Yes, and, and, and that was very troubling a couple of years ago. We had both Democrats and Republicans voting for the National Defense Authorization Act, the NDAA, and a new section that was put in that a couple of years ago said that uh, essentially the military could arrest anybody and hold them indefinitely, indefinitely without trial and could transport them. Why? Because they perceived that we were at war. Let's play that clip from Harry Reid again where he tries to pull up the rhetoric here. Go ahead. You guys have that clip? We're going to have that clip in just a second here. But just yesterday, Harry Reid was saying that uh, all the people that were standing up to the police state were essentially domestic terrorists. Let's play that clip. Keep in mind what happened up there. There were hundreds, hundreds of people from around the country that came there. Uh, they had sniper rifles on the freeway. They had assault weapons. They had automatic weapons. And as the, one of the former sheriffs from Arizona said, and we had children and women lined up because what we, if anyone got hurt, we wanted to make sure they got hurt first because we wanted the federal government hurting women and children. This is the deal and it's not a good one. So these people who hold themselves out to be patriots are not. They're nothing more than domestic terrorists. And I think that we are a country that people should follow the law. And what went up in Mesquite is not very good. I repeat, what went on up there is domestic terrorism. Okay, Ter domestic terrorism. Well, he, he certainly knows about terrorism because as I was just reading earlier, there, there was a drone operator talking about how he was called upon to shoot men, women, and children. We know that's happening abroad all the time. And, and of course, it was not a plan of anyone, and there was nothing strategized about it. And, in fact, you can see the videos that it did not happen to have men and women, uh, or to have women and children, rather, on the front lines. Go ahead, Mr. Uh, Bundy. You know, it, it actually sort of makes me mad when I hear Harry talk like that. You know what he's done is he's putting a whole bunch of uh, things together and coming up quite a speech. I mean, de definitely most of those things he's talking about are lies. And why would a, our United States senator act like this in front of a, a, we, the people of America? Why would a man do this? And else he's trying to stir something up. And Yes. Uh, it definitely not. I've been around, you know, like 3,000 people here. I, I've never heard anybody talk like this on, 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 in around me in the last couple of weeks. Never. Nobody has ever talked like this. Well, that's true, and, and, and this is part of the vilification uh, that, they're, that they're starting, and this is a war that we're going to have to fight in the press because first they're going to try to vilify you and your supporters, and uh, first they assassinate your character, then they try to assassinate you. And I can see where this narrative is, is going. I mean, when Glenn Beck was saying that uh, those of us who were at the front of the gate, and I was up there at the front because I wanted to capture what was being said between your son, Ammon, and uh, this uh, agent from the BLM. So I was up at the front, and, and we've got footage of that, and people were not provoking and threatening the government. It's absolutely not true. What Glenn Beck is saying about that is a lie. It's disinformation. And what he's trying to do is to demonize the people there so that if they, everybody has seen you, they've seen your family, they know that you're calm and responsible individuals. But what they want to try to do is to demonize the people who were there as supporters so they can say if something happens and they, they want to initiate something, they can blame it on somebody else. Okay, now you know, maybe I misunderstood you. You said Glenn Beck said these things, or did you mean Harry Reid said these things? Glenn Beck said it before Harry Reid said it. I, I don't know if you caught it or not when you were talking to Glenn Beck, uh, the, and you were trying to explain 
that the state and the county had jurisdiction in that area. Glenn Beck said, oh, oh, now I understand. This is something completely different about not paying taxes. Now you're saying that you're sovereign. And then he had a guy that was there, and he said, are you saying uh, uh, that you're part of the sovereign citizen movement? And Mr. Bundy, you said you didn't know what that was. Let me tell you right now that the FBI has labeled the sovereign citizen movement, rightly or wrongly, as domestic terrorists for a long time. And they've been telling law enforcement officers that people who are sovereign citizens are people who will shoot them on a heartbeat. And so they've got law enforcement very afraid of that term. When they hung that label on you, he was putting a big target on your back. Okay. I'll let that. Well, I'm yeah. Glad you, I'm, yeah, I'm glad you sort of informed me that. I didn't realize what was going on there. But anyway, uh, hey... I tell you, here. Can, can you hang on? Can you hang on for just one moment? We've got a commercial break, and we're going to be right back. Can you can you hang on for a little bit longer? Yes, yes, All right. I will. Thank you. Attention, all radio listeners! Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. What I'm about to tell you is based on information obtained from a little-known government document called FT-900. This bombshell government document contains evidence on what I believe will cause the next 9-11. I've just posted a video at www.next911exposed2.com that not only analyzes the contents of this document, but it walks you through the exact timeline of how and when this 9-11 event is scheduled to occur. Just like 9-11 had a lasting impact on our society, this event will reshape America. It will swipe trillions off markets and retirement accounts everywhere and destroy the way of life of millions of unprepared Americans. But it will also trigger what promises to be the biggest wealth transfer in the history of our nation. But you only have a few weeks left to take all the necessary steps to protect yourself and your family. Just visit www.next911exposed2.com to view my newly released video. Again. That's www.next911exposed2.com before it's too late. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency Potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and I have on the phone Cliven Bundy, the Nevada rancher that's at the center of this dispute with the BLM, at the center, really, at the moment of our fight for our liberties against the police state. And, of course, Harry Reid is pushing back on this, calling him and everyone who was there domestic terrorists because they stood down a government that had come from all over the country and was pointing guns in people's faces, threatening to shoot them. Before we get back to Mr. Bundy, I want to let you know that this hour of the Alex Jones Show is brought to you by My Patriot Supply. Patriots everywhere are getting prepared, and they're doing it with one of my favorite companies, MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com offers high-quality survival gear 
and is the home of the Patriot Pantry line of emergency food storage. The food is delicious, easy to prepare, put together with GMO-free crops, and it is storable for up to 25 years. It's developed space-saving space and secure food storage bins unlike the flimsy plastic pails that you find almost everywhere else. That's My Patriot Supply. Visit MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers. The globalists are counting on you to be unprepared. Fight back. Get prepared at MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex today. Now, Mr. Bundy, just before we went to break, you were we were talking about the uh, interview that you had earlier this week, and I, I was pointing out to you that even before Harry Reid came out with the statement yesterday about the people that were there at the ranch being domestic terrorists, that as you were explaining the sovereignty issues, and I know that you believe that the sovereignty belongs in the county and with the state government as opposed to the federal government, they spun that around and said, oh, you are saying that you are above the law, that you are a sovereign citizen, and one of the guys there with Glenn Beck, I don't know his name, but if you look at the clip, you can see it. He said, are you saying that you're a member of the sovereign citizens movement, which is code word for domestic terrorists for sure? And you said at the time you didn't know anything about it. Did you want to address that? Uh, well, I could. I definitely am not any, you know, joined with any group of terrorists. Yes, I know. Uh, I am an a individual citizen. When I'm talking about sovereignty uh, and of the state, I'm talking about our Constitution and our state government being uh, we as the sovereign people of that county. And uh, I really believe that's what our founding fathers were talking about, is being sovereign and as individuals. And, and of course, we're sovereign here. I'm a sovereign citizen of Clark County, Nevada. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I am sovereign. Yeah, I believe in that. Yes. Yes, I, absolutely. I, and I certainly we understand what you're talking about, and this is not... You know, again, it's a term that is a very hot label, and it is a term that has been used for law enforcement for them to uh, come after people and perceive them as a threat to their safety. But what you're saying is, is that the state of Nevada should have sovereignty over this, that as Representative Stockman, congressman from Texas, said, whenever the federal government goes out to enforce anything by, uh, to enforce any rulings or any laws, they need to contract with local law enforcement, and that's what you were saying. Your son, Ammon, said uh, to the BLM agent, he said, you have no authority here, and then pointed at the sheriff and said, you're the one with authority, we will do what you said. That's the attitude that I saw there. I understand that's that's what you were, were about. I wanted to ask you, going forward here, what's where's the best place for people to uh, get updates from you? Because there's been a lot of information that's gone out. I know that you've got a Facebook uh, page as well as a blog page, and I've seen reports that have come out in the last couple of days where you have had to, or your wife or somebody there in your family has had to come out and say that simply isn't true, and you do that, communicate people through Facebook. Is that correct? Yeah, that's that's our main source of communication. Uh, you know, <laughs> my wife, I don't even understand what she's talking about, but she's saying so we have now over overrode or over did the system like Obama, Obamacare did. Yeah, I mean, we blew the system today. Hey, so hang I don't on, know what you can get or not get or not get anything. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today, Mr. Bundy. Best wishes to you. We're going to be right back, and I'm going to continue with the people that have been hanging for calls. Thank you so much, Mr. Bundy. Best wishes hey, to you. Uh, yeah, I appreciate being with you and being with the people of America today. Thank you. Thank you. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water. For your preparedness storage or your home kitchen, purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find 
find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com.